The baseball team finished king of the hill in the SEC last season, and they're looking to defend that title for the third straight year. This weekend, Coach Maneri and the defending national champs kicked off the 2010 season against Centenary. The unveiling of the new Intimidator wasn't the only highlight of the night. LSU went on to win Friday night's closer than expected contest 5-4. Saturday evening's contest was a bit more lopsided. The gorilla ball LSU was known for made its first appearance when the Tigers exploded for a 25-8 victory over the Gents. Senior designated hitter Matt Goday had two home runs of his own of his of his own blow, and the blowout win. Sunday, the bats cooled off, but the pitching was still on point. That's right, Morgan. LSU won their first shutout of the year, four to nothing against the Gents. The bats of Micah Gibbs and Blake Dean came out as each one of them had a home run. The defending champs are now 3-0 and ranked number one in the regular season's first collegiate baseball newspaper poll. The 2010 version of LSU Tigers are looking to repeat the championship success of the 09 team, but dreams of Omaha are a long ways away. Sports Showtime reporter Daniel Brown takes a look at what the Tigers did this past weekend and what's in store for LSU the rest of the way. Road to Omaha has to start somewhere, and there's no better place for the Tigers than at the box. The fans here, I mean, you can't play in front of fans like this anywhere else in the nation, obviously. So, I mean, when you got the fans on your back and the team on your back, it just makes everything so much easier. That support was shown all weekend long for LSU in their three-game sweep of the Centenary Gents. We caught up with head coach Paul Maneri to talk about the weekend performance for the Tigers after their 4 to nothing victory on Sunday. I thought our kids really played well all three days. Uh, and today, you know, Bourgeois was the story of the game, gave us a chance to win. We got a couple of hits and uh, played good defense behind him. We had a nice victory and a good sweep to start the season. With returning players like first baseman Blake Dean and starting catcher Michael Gibbs, the Tigers have all the pieces in place for a repeat. Starting pitching was and still is a concern for LSU, but they should have the bats to back them up. I don't think that'll be Blake's last one of the year. I'm going to go out on a limb on that prediction. Uh, you know, I was glad to see Blake get off to a good start this weekend. Uh, Friday night, you know, he didn't swing great, but then last night he had a good night, and today he hit a home run. So I, I, I predicted before the year begins began that Blake would have his best season of his career. You try to get him early, you know. You try to get his build those stats up as soon as you can, and so you know when it, it just you get more and more, and it just continues to grow. But I mean, we had a lot of opportunities this weekend, Saturday. You know, got a chance those kind of games. You got to take advantage of them, and you know the whole team did. So I think we did well all together. With three straight solid performances out of their offense, including a 25-8 to disrespecting of the Gents on Saturday and six solid innings out of sophomore newcomer Joey Bourgeois, the Tigers looked in championship form early in the season and looked to continue their success all year long. For Sports Showtime, I'm Daniel Brown. The Tigers are back on the diamond this Wednesday against McNeese State. The first pitch is scheduled for 4 p.m.